Now, the next manuscript we have is a 17th century book. And this, is, this is one of the books that Orne Magnusson probably knew as a kid. When Orne Magnusson was growing up uh, in Iceland uh, in the 1660s and 1670s, there were many manuscripts of Eirbyggja saga around. Um, this is one of them. This is a paper manuscript written by Ketil Jörundsson, Árni Magnússon's maternal grandfather. Now, Árni Magnússon grew up with, with Ketil, and Ketil instilled in his grandson love for literature, history, and, and books. So Árni Magnússon, already at a young age, became acquainted with many manuscripts, including manuscripts of Erpika Saga. Later, when Árni was in Copenhagen, he, he noted that all of the manuscripts of Erpika Saga in Iceland, they are descended from Vashorn's book, the book of Vashorn. Vashorn is a farm in Haukadalur in Western Iceland. The, the book of Vashorn, uh, also known as Vashirna, um, was a big manuscript containing several sagas. By the mid-17th by the mid century, Vashortsbok, or Vashirna, was in the collection of the Danish manuscript collector uh, Peder Hansen Riesen. Uh, upon his death, uh, his books ended up in the university library in Copenhagen. Uh, where sadly, Vassort's book, or Vassirna, was destroyed in the Great Fire of Copenhagen in 1728. So this important text of Erpikja and several other sagas is lost for good. Now what do we know about this lost manuscript, Vassirna? Uh, it has been pointed out that the genealogies in the first of the sagas in this manuscript, the Flóa Manna saga, and the last, Thorðar saga Hreðu, uh, go all the way to certain Jón Hákonarsson, uh, a, a wealthy farmer uh, in Víðidalstunga, in, in Húnavas region in the northern Iceland, and his wife Ingileif Arnadóttir. Why would the genealogy be extended all the way to him? Presumably because Vashirna, the manuscript, was written for him. That Jón Hákonarsson commissioned Vashirna to be written. Jón Hákonarsson also commissioned another book, another big book, the so-called Flateyar book. He commissioned two scribes, Jón Thorðarsson and Magnus Thorhallsson, to write a big compilation of the lives of the Norwegian kings in this manuscript. This manuscript is by far the, the largest and the most exquisite surviving manuscript written in Icelandic. It is unique in, in many ways, uh, not only because of its splendor, but also because we know there is a preface stating that this book was owned by Jón Hákonarsson. Now what has this to do with Vassirna? Well, Vassirna, it seems, was commissioned by the same Jón Hákonarsson, who commissioned Flatea book, this big manuscript. Now we are fortunate in that before Vashirna was destroyed in the Great Fire of Copenhagen in 1728, Arne Magnusson and his scribe Ausker Jonsson copied it. And this is the copy. This is the hand of Arne Magnusson and this is the hand of his scribe Ausker Jonsson. Stefan Karlsson, 
has studied Alden Magnusson's copy of Vassirna and has convincingly demonstrated that the language and orthography in this copy is not Altnis, but rather it is a 14th century orthography. Moreover, Stefan compared the orthography of Altnis' copy of Vasirna to that of the orthography of Flathead book. And he found that there is a striking resemblance of the orthography here to the orthography of Magnus Thorhallsson, one of the two main scribes of Flathead book. The Eirbyga saga text uh, found in Vasirna is the most complete text of Eirbyga saga uh, available. Therefore, the text of Vasirna, the now lost Vasirna, as reflected in later copies, has been the basis for most or perhaps all modern editions of Eirbyga saga. So the Eirbyga saga, as we know it, is in fact the text of the lost Vasirna.